Right, they want us to find the sine of 15 using the half angle formula. They want us to find the exact sine of 15. Well, you'll notice that 15 is half of 30, and we know 30. So I'm going to rewrite this as the sine of 30 over 2. And if I look at my cheat sheet, I know the sine of 30 over 2 is related to the sine of the cosine of 30. So I'm going to write that. This, this equals, let me erase this, the sine of 30 over 2 is equal to using that formula, plus or minus, and I'll explain how you know which one to use, minus the cosine of 30, which I know, over 2. So now I'm going to simplify this by substituting in, using my unit circle, the cosine of 30, if you remember, that's the that was this angle right here, 30, and so this is the long, the cosine is the x coordinate right here, which is the root 3 over 2, and it's positive. Alright, so it's plus or minus root 1 minus root 3 over 2, all over 2. And let's just go ahead and talk about how you know if it's plus or minus, because I don't have to write both of them. It's one or the other, and the fact that it's 15 degrees, that means it's in the first quadrant. It's like half of this. And since it's in the first quadrant, it's not plus or minus, it's just plus. It's got to be positive because the sine of an angle in the first quadrant is always positive. So that's how you know whether to use the plus or minus. Alright, now let's simplify this. This becomes common denominator 2 over 2. So this equals 2 minus root 3 all over 2 all over 2. And how do I divide by 2? Dividing by 2 is the same as multiplying by 1 half. So I'm going to flip that and put it there. And so this becomes square root of 2 minus root 3. I don't, now the 1, I don't, I'm just multiplying it, so I don't have to do anything with that. All over 4. But now I can split up the square root sign on the top and the bottom because the square root of 4 is 2. So it's root 2 minus root 3 all over 2, and that's your answer.